Hi friends, thanks for watching. Let's dive right in here to one of the more common functions in Excel, that being the if function. We're going to work through two examples, the first one being a real estate example here, where we're trying to easily figure out if a home sold for more than it was listed for, which is fairly common, at least as of the time of this recording. And then the second example has to do with homework. We need an at-a-glance view of which students turn in the homework on time and which are overdue. So let's build these out. I've got some blank tabs here that we can work through. Both of these scenarios are perfect for the if function. This function has three parameters. First is a logical test, checking if something is greater than, less than, equal to, that kind of a thing. And that's going to return true or false. The second value there is what you want to display in the cell if that test was true. And then the third value is what to display if it was false. So back to our real estate example. Here in column D is where we want to figure out if the sales price was greater than the list price. So is column C greater than column B? And to do that, we can just type in equals if, you'll see that pulls up the function, and then a hand reminder of the three different parameters here. So the logical test will be if C is greater than B, comma, what we want to display if that was true, so yes, it was over list price, we'll put that in quotes, comma, what to display if it was false, will be no, close that off with a closing parenthesis, and hit enter. So no, this particular one was not sold over list price, the sales price was actually lower than list price. Now you can just copy and paste this down, I'm doing a control C, control V, or you can also just drag down the little handle here on the bottom right to copy that formula down the rest of the column. So really easy now to see which one sold over list price. Now we have another column over here, column E, where for those homes that did sell over list price, we want to calculate by how much. So in this case, we want to check if column D is yes or no. And if it is yes, then we make that calculation of how much over. We could do the same thing here of typing in equals and if, but let me show you a second way to do this. If you're in this cell and then come up here, click on the FX, insert function. This will bring up kind of a nice visual way for you to do it rather than just typing directly into the cell. It'll give you exactly the same results, but it's just a different way to do it. So function, you'll see here it's selected if, and click OK. And here again are those three parameters. So it just gives you a little bit more visual help. The logical test here, if you click this up arrow, it'll let you select your cells. So here we want to check if this, column D, equals, in quotes, yes. When you're done with that, click the little arrow right here, and that's filled in that parameter. Here we want to say, what are we going to type in if the value is true, or what do we want to display if the value is true? And this is where we need to do that calculation to see how much over list price the home sold for. So again, clicking on the arrow, we'll say, get this out of the way here, this should be sales price minus list price. And that'll give us the difference. Click the arrow here again. And then this third parameter, if it's false, we actually can just put in a zero. It doesn't really apply if it was false because it didn't sell for over list price. So there's the three parameters. You can easily see them in this little dialog box here. Click OK, and there's the result. So this one is basically getting a zero because it doesn't apply. Let me drag this down here to fill in the formula on the rest of our cells. And there we go. So anything that did sell over list price, like these two, and this one is calculating that difference. So we're saying it sold over list price, it sold for $5,000 over list price. So two different ways to use the if function for this example. All right, now let's move on to our homework example. Here we need to know if the homework is overdue or if it was on time. Thinking back to our parameters here, the test is gonna be whether the date turned in is greater than the homework due date. If that's true, we're gonna say it's overdue, and if that's false, we'll say it's on time. So with your mouse in column D, I'll just type in the function directly, since that's what I've been doing for years and years. I find it actually easier to do it this way, but you could click on the FX up here and get that visual help as well. 
So logical test, we're going to say if date turned in is greater than the due date, comma, in quotes, will be overdue. Otherwise, if that's false, then we know the assignment was on time. Close off with a closing parenthesis, hit enter. And now let's just select this, get the little handle right here on the far right, and drag it down to fill in the formula and everything else. Ta-da! That's it. That's how to use the if function in Excel, which comes in handy for all kinds of things. If you found this valuable, check out some of my other Excel videos on the channel, and be sure to subscribe to get notified when I upload new things. Thanks so much for watching.